Recently acquired this vintage bottle, Geyer Freres Maison Fondi in 1895. I'm sure I just butchered the hell out of that. But you can see it on there, pronounce it however you want. It has one of these tops, you can see with these little holes here, where it had one of those seals and shoom, it'd fit in there and you'd snap it into place. That's long gone. And so I would imagine a lot of people are wondering, well, what do you do with this thing? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm gonna make a waterfall bong out of it. And specifically, it's one of these bottles that has one of these grooves here like a Sobe bottle of the 90s and a lot of people will just take like a screwdriver or something and just hammer a little hole in there I'm gonna drill a hole in there I make waterfall bongs out of bottles if you follow this channel then you know that I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video on how to make one just kind of in general but for now I'm gonna go punch a hole in it still has the price tag on it I got it at a Goodwill it says $2.99, but it was one of those days where green was the color where you got some percentage off, so I paid some fraction of that. So we'll say half price, you know, like a buck fifty for this bottle. But the amount of times I'm gonna get high off of it, priceless. And there we have it. You can see the hole right there. I punched it in using a diamond tip drill bit in my drill press. Like I said, I'm going to put a video of how to make these in further detail in the description of this video. I always use a cork. It's one of those things I didn't use to use. It makes it a lot easier when you're filling it up. All right, you only got to use one hand. It's a size zero, zero cork. So you put that cork in there. You fill this bottle full of water. And up here you have your bowl where you put your weed in there. Pull this plug out, the water comes down, it creates a vacuum, and as you're lighting the bowl up here, this fills with smoke, and you grip it and rip it. Like I said, check out a video that's more in depth than this on how to make these and how they work and all the stuff's on it in the description of this video. But for now, I'm gonna go put this thing to good use. Gotta give it a test run, right? Catch you folks next time.